what I really, really want. I wanna, I wanna. You wanna sing a sing? In a world of uber successful teenagers, Millie Bobby Brown reigns supreme with her incredible portrayal of Eleven, the telekinetic teen from the Stranger Things universe. But popularity and youth is often a very dangerous combination and can result in some of the cringiest moments on the World Wide Web. So whether you're a fan of the popular teenager or just love to relax while watching famous people being all awkward on the internet, stay right where you are, as we're about to explore some of the moments moments Millie Bobby Brown made us cringe. And believe me, you don't want to miss this one. But before that, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We're giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad Mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice, but be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. First, the group interview that changed it all. Fans will know that it's quite difficult to talk about Millie nowadays without at least mentioning the criticism she has been getting for allegedly treating her fellow cast members poorly. You see, back when the cast of Stranger Things were doing promotional work for season two of the show, they decided to appear in a group interview with SiriusXM, which went viral for all the wrong reasons. Before we get started, it is important to remember that a large reason for the interview was to actually introduce the world to the newest member of the ragtag group of teenagers, Max, as portrayed so well by the talented Sadie Sink. To be honest, most of the interview passed by without a hitch, until Millie decided that it was time to get excited. It all started when Caleb McLaughlin, who plays Lucas, was asked how his love interest Max could actually help Eleven in the context of the show. He started to answer the question quite well, but was unfortunately interrupted by Millie a short while in, who shouted, yeah, she can humanize her. Clearly frustrated by the numerous times Millie had been interrupting him and his fellow cast members, Caleb gritted his teeth and attempted to continue with his dialogue. He was, however, interrupted by young Millie once more who exclaimed, Okay, Eleven, you can't just kiss Mike all the time. The interview continued like this for some time, causing the cast members to grow more and more irritated by Millie, until Caleb could no longer hold his frustration in any longer. At this point, Caleb actually interrupted Millie by looking at Sadie and asking, Sadie, do you want to talk? Sadie jumped at the opportunity to discuss her character with the interviewer, but was interrupted once more by Millie who just couldn't help her Herself from hogging the spotlight. Unfortunately for her, this entire interview spread like wildfire and was put on countless cringe compilations on YouTube, resulting in quite a lot of hate for the young star. We don't necessarily think that Millie interrupts or acts disrespectfully towards her castmates on purpose. She just seems to become quite passionate about her roles and as such can't seem to help herself from wanting to answer every single question that pops up. That being said, maybe it's about time she learned to be a little more conscious of those around her, right? Second, the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. Speaking of needing to be far more conscious of those around her, you won't believe what Millie does in this next clip, lifted straight from the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards of around two years ago. Since Stranger Things as a show actually won the award for favorite television show that year, the showrunners chose to send Sadie, Caleb, and Millie on stage to accept the award and thank everyone who needed to be thanked. While there was no problem during either Caleb or Sadie's dialogue, Millie was given the biggest portion of the speech and was slowly running out of time due to her fellow cast members thanking people in a funny but slow way. So when it came time for Millie to finally speak, she launched herself at the podium before Caleb was able to move fully out of the way, causing her to knock him from the stage. The audience held their breaths as they watched Caleb's arms flailing through the air until he disappeared from view, only to reappear with a really shocked look on his face. This would have been the perfect moment for Millie to show some humanity, and set rumors of her hating her fellow cast members aside by helping poor Caleb out. What she did, however, was incredibly cringy. She acted like nothing had happened and continued on with her speech as if she had merely flicked an ant off the podium seconds before. Once more, the young star's actions had opened her up to criticism that she only seems to care for herself, bolstered by the fact that she hadn't even batted an eyelash when shoulder-checking her castmate off stage. Acting as if nothing has happened is usually a great 
strategy for avoiding cringe, but in this instance it just didn't serve Millie well. Next, best friends with whom? Our next moment is one that will probably haunt Millie for years to come, as the entire interview played out like a bad nightmare of sorts for both her and her great friend. You see, boys and girls, back in 2018, when Millie was only 14 years old, she was given a solo interview with Access where a lot of the discussion surrounded the other celebrities Millie had come to meet because of her increased popularity. During this harmless segment, Millie let something slip that really made people think, and it concerned her becoming quite good friends with Drake, the rap artist you might know from songs like In My Feelings and Hotline Bling. Now don't get us wrong, there is absolutely nothing wrong with celebrities talking to one another, but with a bit of pressuring, the interviewer was able to get Millie to admit that her and Drake would actually text one another quite often. When asked what exactly the two of them would speak about, Millie ended up disclosing that he had actually given her advice on the topic of boys and being young and in love. Once the interview was released, it didn't take long for the broader community to question what Drake was doing talking to a young girl like Millie so frequently, pointing out that they believed this relationship to be inappropriate at the very least. The situation was worsened by Drake not responding to it at all, which left Millie to defend her friendship with him by saying that there is nothing wrong with two people who share common interest giving advice to one another. To this day, both the interview and the defensive conduct that followed its release remain some of the cringiest moments of the young teenager's life so far. Luckily for her, the controversy has luckily died down quite a bit. Then, there was that terrible skincare routine. Towards the end of last year, Millie decided to take a note out of the Kardashian clan's handbook and capitalize on her fame and fortune by launching her own skincare line and beauty range under the name of Florence by Mills. Since the beauty industry has blown up over the past couple of years with many a YouTuber taking time to dabble therein, this was definitely a great move by Millie. What wasn't the greatest of moves, however, was her promotion of these products. In a short video posted on Instagram, Millie introduced her fans to what she described to be her nighttime routine, which, surprise surprise, actually involved her making use of her own Florence by Mills products. The reason why this video was so highly critiqued, however, is because fans noticed that the superstar was not actually using the products that she was advertising. How could they have possibly known this? Well, boys and girls, Millie was wearing makeup in the video. Pretty noob move if we do say so ourselves. In just a few hours, Millie was once more faced with a controversy where people were accusing her of selling products that she didn't believe in herself. When she admitted to not using the products during the video because of her insecurities, the criticism was then aimed at her looks, which should obviously never be the case. This entire situation was beyond cringy, but we hope that Millie has learned from her mistakes and is now promoting her skincare products in a much better way. Since we have yet to hear about a similar controversy, we think she has. She did did actually end up apologizing for her actions after the fact, posting the following statement on her account. I'm still learning the best way to share my routines as I get to know this space better. I'm not an expert. I thought doing a quick video replicating my personal process for that night was okay, but that's not what was conveyed. I understand. I appreciate all your feedback on this journey. Please keep sharing your thoughts, and I will too. I love you guys. They say there's no such thing as bad press. Does the same count for cringy press? Anyway, that wraps up the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.